God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today I was riding by, and I noticed this local grocery store, Marks, they are building a brand new um, grocery store in this uh, one city near me, and beloved, listen and hear me very closely. If you look to the right of your screen, you will see um, it is scrap metal that is being taken away. It's in a huge dumpster. This building that they are renovating used to be a old uh, workout facility. And right when COVID hit, that structure was still here. So what they have done is literally gutted the entire structure. It's been totally gutted out. And now they, they have began to strip down the old infrastructure. That's why the dumpster is filled with all of that metal. And if you see, these guys are working today. And to the right, if you see them up there, they're putting in, preparing to place new um, uh, metal and cement blocks, which of course will be the primary edifice, the, 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 the actual part of the building that holds and keeps the building structure together. Follow me today, my friend. Because this word is so important. Why? Because if God is stripping you, you will be coming soon. Soon and very soon. If you will be patient. If you will let ha uh, patience have its way in you. You are coming forth real soon. When God placed the anointing of a deliverer upon Moses, Moses was called to be the deliverer of Israel, who was in bondage in Egypt under the regime of Pharaoh. When God had already had this council in the heavenlies, Moses did not know that he had been chosen. But remember, Moses' mother, when the decree went out to kill the firstborn, she put Moses in a basket and put him out on the Nile, on the water, to escape being killed. Because she knew. And there are people around you, my friend, they know that God has preserved your life for a time such as this to use you. I cannot express enough on the channel. Many of you are being swept away with COVID-19 and all this going on in the world. Beloved, do not be distracted. If you have been called as a deliverer, if you have been called and anointed by God, you got to keep your focus right now Unlike any other time in history, we have never, ever seen a thing like what we're seeing right now. And I implore you, I beseech you by the mercies of God, friend, you got to stay focused. It is not about what we see happening. It's about what's really going on. It is appointed unto men once to die and then God's judgment. So when he takes you out of Egypt and he begins to strip down 
everything that was near and dear to you, when he begins to strip and push and pull and destroy all of your confident and your confidential props, the things that you use to prop up your ego, to prop up your self worth, when he begins to move people from you, the relationship you thought was going to last forever, the people you thought were going to be right there for you, and he is showing you contrary, and he's stripping down every facet of your life, because, beloved, except the Lord build the house, your spiritual house, the labor, anything that you're touching, it's in vain. Why, Moses? Because you have been anointed. And once God shows it to you and he makes it clear that he cannot use that thing in your life or that thing in your life, it has to go into the dumpster. See, you got to let some stuff go. God will work with you and I as long as we work with him. When you cease to let him keep pulling and destroying and bringing enlightenment in areas of your personality, your persona has to be dealt with, my friend. Everything about you has to be washed. It has to be looked upon with scrutiny so that as God begins to build you back up, in him. Your confidence is not in these things. Your confidence is not in your college degree. Your confidence is not in your marriage and telling people, you know, you know, my husband this, my wife this, and, and that's your boast. Your boast is your kids. All you want to talk about is the pride of your life, which is your children. All of this, friends, has to be stripped so that it is it is not your primary focus and 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 listen friend as long as it takes for you to stay in the the school of the spirit to know and grow your coming forth soon is prolonged by you Many people want to be in ministry, but they don't want to do the work. It takes a lot of self-denial. It takes a lot of saying, no, I can't make it to the family gathering because you're, you're trying to finish writing your book. You're trying to start the book. You're trying to put together your new gospel tracks. You're trying to do all these things. And when you have the opportunity to do them, listen, when COVID-19 broke out, that was the best time to get a breather in, friends. There are some things it must be placed in the dumpster. It must be considered Dung. If you look very closely near the dumpster here, you will see they have a picture. This is far as I can um, expand my camera. But look closely. You can see right next to the dumpster to the left. They have a picture of what this grocery store is going to look like when it is done. And friends, it looks to me, it's going to be pretty nice. Listen, here's another picture of what it's going to look like. If you look really closely to the left of my screen, you can see the glass. It's going to be a beautiful edifice. Beloved, God has already shown you a snapshot. There you go. You see to the left there, you can see the glass. You can see where they're going with this thing. Friends, listen, you have already seen the ending. But do you not know that prophecy is contingent upon obedience? If you continue to stay smoking weed, smoking your cigarettes, all that fornication and masturbation, all these secret sins, scheming, lying, and some of you, your problem is you're so angry and so jealous hearted, you got to dig that out and put it 
in the dumpster. And listen, you cannot dismiss, you cannot conquer what you won't confess. If you don't call yourself what you really are, you cannot grow. You will not come into maturation until you are willing to confront your real true self. God has showed you, he has told you, and you will come forth soon enough, but not if you get off of the potter's wheel. Beloved, you can't get off that potter's wheel. You got to stay under the hand of the almighty God. Do not let anything that's going on deceive you and take you off the course, Moses. Stay over there hurting them sheep. That's what Moses did for 40 years when God brought him out of Egypt. He was 40 years in the wilderness with those sheep. He was doing things that I'm sure like many, you're like, this is not even who I am. This is not me. <laughs> Friends, I went through it in my wilderness where I was doing so many things to hustle, to pay my rent, when I knew I could probably run a company. And here I am with all these gifts, talents, and skills, and I was confined to minimum wage jobs, factory jobs, living from house to house to house, no stability whatsoever. But this friend, I can assure you, the Spirit of the Lord was with me. And he gave me peace. He gave me joy. He gave me wisdom. He gave me understanding. And I tell you, my friend, if you do what is right in his sight, look at all this, this plan for this building. Look closely. Look at this, friends. All of this is being set aside, but yet it is being prepped to complete this construction. God has all types of good things waiting for you, my friend, but you got to do your part. You got to do you. Oh, yes. Look, friends, you can't complete this renovation without look at all these cement blocks and and dirt and and the scalpels are up there they're they're building it up god say trust this process of stripping you down trust him trust him just focus on doing what is right in his sight and i am a witness god will make all grace abound towards you my friend till next time let us consider these things in time you shall come forth as pure gold you're coming out soon a change is coming soon stay focused Stay focused on the kingdom, not COVID-19, not race tensions, not all that we see this negative, uh-uh. Philippians chapter 4, let me close this exhortation with this. Whatsoever things are true, good, and worthy of praise... Focus on that, my friend. And God, in his perfect kairos, Greek word for time, in his perfect kairos, you will come forth as pure gold. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your heart be made glad. Do not become bitter. Allow this season to make you better. Mature saints can still smile under pressure. Mature saints can still preach, teach, and reach to the lost, regardless of what is going on. 
he or she that has the ear to hear, God bless us all today.